This topic covers the use of C-Trial Steady State Data Logger within Caterpillar Electronic Technician, or ET. This function allows users of marine Caterpillar products to capture engine performance data that will help in diagnosing problems. The captured data can be compared with past performance data, imported into the CAMPAR program, or graphed within CAT-ET. Data is captured while the engines are at relatively consistent speeds. If the speed varies more than 20 RPM, the data is considered questionable in value. The operator must consider this when choosing the time and location for using this feature. To begin a steady state log, choose C trial from the information menu. Now select Steady State and then Recorder. The C trial steady state recorder screen displays. This screen displays the data captured during the recording. Before recording data, you need to access the settings screen and specify settings. The C trial steady state recorder settings screen displays. This screen allows you to set specific requirements for your test. This must be done before running the test in order to create a customized test that meets your needs. You can choose the parameters to capture both electronically and manually. You can also choose the electronic control module or ECM parameters you would like to view on the screen during the test. Once you select parameters, you can also specify the file name and the storage location for the settings file. You can also add comments about the settings file. You must be connected to an ECM in order to use the settings screen. Settings can be created and stored for future use while connected. In this case, you can see the settings for the group titled 3 Marine ECMs.set. The setting details comments are shown. To view other settings details options, select them from the list box. When you click on each of the settings details options, CAT ET shows you the current values for the setting group you have chosen. The data file parameters show you where the file will be stored and what it will be named. ECM parameters are parameters that can be read from the ECM. The manual parameters are data that are retrieved manually and entered into the existing log. The monitored ECM parameters are parameters that are monitored on screen and updated simultaneously throughout the duration of the log. If previous settings have been saved, you may choose to use them as is or modify them. If you would like to choose your own settings, you may also use the settings menu to design a log that meets your needs. For this topic, we are going to create new settings by clicking on the New button. The Data File Setup screen displays. You can use the Browse button to choose where you want the data file to be saved and what you would like to name it. By default, the file extension of .ssd will be used for steady state data logs. Remember, the data that you are saving at this point is only settings information. Data captured from the test will be stored in the selected file when you run the test. The default name includes the type of log and its date. We will use the default name and location. To view the next settings screen, click on the Next button. As previously mentioned, the ECM parameters are the parameters read from the ECM that will be sampled and averaged. The ECMs that are found are listed with the ECM parameter group that has been defined. In this case, since we are creating a new log, no groups are defined. To define a group, select an ECM and click on the Groups button. The 
the Select Group screen displays. Several groups have been listed as default for the particular engine type you are using. You may choose one listed or define a new group. As you navigate through the groups, the parameters included in each group are displayed. We will choose Group 1, Marine Performance, for this ECM. Click OK to return to the ECM parameters setup. The ECM parameters setup window redisplays with a group applied to the first ECM. Notice that the group is now defined next to the ECM's name. Continue to choose groups for all ECMs you are using. If you choose Apply All Groups to All ECMs, the parameters in the groups listed for the ECMs will be read from all the ECMs during the test. The log will then contain parameter data from all the ECMs. When you have finished setting up the ECM parameters, click on the Next button and you can set up your manual parameters. The process for choosing manual parameters is exactly the same as choosing ECM parameters. Select an ECM and click on the Groups button. The Select Groups window displays. To create a custom group, click on the New button. You can now create a group with the parameters of your choice. You will have to enter these values manually after the log is finished. To add a parameter to the group, select the parameter from the Available Parameters list and click the Add button. The parameter is added to the group. Continue to add parameters you wish to appear as part of the group. Notice that the units for each of the parameters are in degrees Celsius. If you wanted to change the units to Fahrenheit, you can click on the units for the parameter and change it to Fahrenheit. For this topic, we will leave the units in Celsius. To save the parameters, click on the Save As button. The Save Group window displays. This window allows you to specify the name under which you want to save the group. Type the name of the group and click OK. Now highlight the saved group Test and click OK. The Manual Parameters Setup window redisplays with a group applied to the first ECM. You can repeat the steps you just saw to define manual parameter groups for the remaining ECMs. Click the Next button to continue. The Monitored Parameters Settings window displays. This screen is used to specify which monitored parameters you would like to display. Note that engine speed and active diagnostic codes present will always display in the Monitored Parameters section during the test. The third parameter monitored by default is Fuel Consumption Rate. Notice that Fuel Rate is used on these screens. The parameter Fuel Rate has been replaced by Fuel Consumption Rate since production of this tutorial. These parameter values will display and update throughout the run of your test. You can change the monitored parameter by selecting it from the selected parameters list and clicking on the Remove button. Add a parameter by selecting it from the available parameters list and clicking on the Add button. Once you have chosen the parameters to monitor, click the Next button. The Comments box displays. 
Here you can record information regarding the settings file which you have created, identifying why it was created or for what type of test. The comments will be stored with the settings file. This comment will not be saved with the actual data. It is only used to help you identify a settings file. Type your comments and click the Next button. The Settings Summary screen displays. This screen allows you to view all of the current settings for this test. To save these settings, click on the Save As button. The Save Settings window displays. This window allows you to specify a name under which your settings will be saved. The Settings Summary window redisplays. Click the Finish button. When the Settings screen displays, you will notice that the settings you created are titled Test.Set. Choose the new set and click the OK button. The Steady State Recorder screen displays. You can see that no captures have been completed because there is no information next to captured parameters. Now you are ready to start a capture. Click the Start button and the Steady State Recorder will begin its capture. The Data Log Status window displays. Each parameter is sampled 10 times and averaged. If there is a large number of parameters to be sampled, they are tested in groups of 10 until the log is completed. This could take approximately 5 seconds for each 10 parameters sampled. Therefore, the capture takes more time depending on the number of parameters sampled. For example, three engines with 30 parameters each can take approximately 2.5 minutes. When the capture is finished, you will be prompted to enter manual parameter data and the first manual channel entry box will be selected. It is recommended that you enter this data after each capture to avoid data entry confusion. Note if the data is not entered before the test is closed, you will not be able to edit it within CAD ET. Click the OK button to continue. You can see that a column has been added to the spreadsheet detailing the parameters readings at 900 RPM. The engine speed for this capture is listed at the top of the column. Enter manual data by scrolling down to the parameters with gray boxes. Type the data values in the gray fields. It will be recorded with the data file. When each subsequent capture is completed, a new column is added. Press Start again. This time the RPM is decreased to 800 RPM. When the capture is finished, you will be prompted to enter manual parameter data and the second manual channel entry box will be selected. Again, it is recommended that you enter this data after each capture to avoid data entry confusion. Note if the data is not entered before the test is closed, you will not be able to edit it within CAT ET. Click the OK button to continue. A new column is added and displays the captured parameters. You can delete an entire column or captures by pushing the delete button while a box in that column is highlighted. This deletes the entire capture, not just that parameter's data. 
select any field in the column and click the Delete button. You will be prompted to verify that you want to delete the column. Click the Yes button to delete the column. The C Trial Steady State Recorder window redisplays and the column is deleted. If you would like to check the active diagnostic codes, click on the Active Codes button. The Active Codes window displays. This window displays a list of active codes. Click the OK button to close this window. To add comments to the captured parameters, click on the Comments button. Type comments into the displayed window. This information will be saved with the test data. You may want to add comments about weather conditions or other situations that could affect the reliability of data retrieved. To export the data, click on the Export button. You can export the data so you can use it with other software programs. Once you have mastered using the C-Trial Steady State Recorder, you will understand just how powerful a tool it can be in your engine diagnostics process.